Okay. For a while now, I've been having these forth and back conversations with our people dealing with the subject of African spirituality. Sometimes these conversations can be illuminating, but the majority of the time they are very, very, very frustrating. The issue is to do with practicality and workability, or even reality. Because I tend to find that naturally we are trying to replace a Christian or Arabic cultural religious practice with our own African centered spiritual practice. But what I find is that in the same vein that you get very few, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Workable and realistic solutions or edification within that. I find that when I speak to spiritualists, they tend to be very defensive when you ask for evidence. Evidence of the supernatural, which is after all the basis of what they claim. The religious nut jobs in Christianity or Islam will tell you that Jesus walked on water or an angel came and gave the prophet the book. The spiritualist will claim the shaman flew from Nigeria to Ghana and he didn't need a plane ticket. So in that supernaturalness, which is the essence of, of some of the belief systems, is where is the evidence for that reality? And it is on that basis that I will ask or pose these five questions to the spiritualist. Question one. Do you believe there is a global war being waged against African people in all areas of people activity? The media, healthcare, politics, education, entertainment, labor, etc., etc. Yes or no? Question number two. Would you agree that in order to defend against this global onslaught against African people, we need institutions such as institutions of learning, universities, economics, banks, businesses, and of course, institutions for technology, warfare, defense. Question number three. Would you then say that since every major institution needs funding, that money would be critical for the building of a future black African superpower. Question four. Do you believe that African spirituality has actual, real, physical power to affect or alter the real physical world? Keeping in mind that if those proponents say no, it cannot alter the real physical world, then it is merely another belief system, no more so than Buddhism, Zoroastrianism, Islam, and of course, your favorites, Christianity. Question five. Last, but definitely not least, if you say African spirituality is real and you say it has power and you say it can affect or alter the real world and you agree we are at war and you agree that our institutions need funding, then can you please, oh please, confirm and show and prove when your cowrie shells will give us the numbers to the lottery. 150 million in lottery prizes are waiting to be claimed. Give us those numbers so that we can make use of it in the revolution. But of course, some of you will sigh and moan and flip your eyelids whilst at the very same time endorsing spiritual homosexuals, anti-sexuals, and promosexuals such as 
Credo Motwa and Mali Dwamaso May. Motwa is a guy who says he was kidnapped by aliens, taken on board your ship, gang banged by these aliens, brought back to Earth, and ever since he himself has been a homosexual, or he puts it, has homosexual tendencies. Maledoma Somme, an integrationist uh, uh, advocate of the idea that the highest spiritual beings are faggots. Those are some of the people that the African spiritualist in mass supports, condone, or say nothing about. So when you say you're a spiritualist and you support or condone or bring up those two individuals, I immediately start getting alarm bells ringing and I just switch off. So I've given you the five questions. So show and prove. Let me know. Send it out to all your friends who say African spirituality is more than just another belief system. Peace out.